Hey there, it's Kara, and today I want to show you how to turn any paper-based coreboard into a voice output coreboard using the free app GoTalkNow Lite that is available for iPads. I cannot take full credit for this idea. I have a colleague named Joy who came up with this idea and she's a genius, so thank you Joy for this idea. And if you don't know about GoTalkNow Lite, it's a free app. It allows you to create five pages within it for free. There is a paid version of the app, a couple different paid versions of the app that allow you to create more pages. I don't recommend purchasing that program unless they're running their $10 sale where I think one time a year they sell the full version version of the app for $10. In that case, go ahead and buy it. But especially with the hack I'm going to show you today by creating a core board on this app, I don't think you need to purchase the full app. To get started, you will want to go into your page editor. And if you already have your five pages full, you will want to go down here to this page layer and hit edit and delete one of the pages that you don't want because you will need at least one blank or one available page so that you can create this core board. You'll see here that it opened me up into just a blank button page, but I'm not going to create the core board from here. Instead, I'm going to click the plus button over here in the bottom right, and I'm going to select add a blank page scene. From here, you just have a blank background without any button dividers. And then in the bottom right here, you'll see that it says tap here to set the image that will be used for the background of the scene. So what I did is I found the core board that I want to use, and I took a screenshot of it from my iPad. You could also just take a picture of a physical board However you want to get the picture to your iPad, it just needs to be in your camera roll. Side note here, the visual scene page will only allow you to create up to 49 voice output buttons. So you can't have a core board that has more than 49 icons on it. So no lamp core board, no WordPower 60 core board. So today I'm going to demonstrate this on the Smartbox SuperCore 30 grid. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to my photo library. And you'll see that I have the core board right here. So I'm going to click that and when it pulls it up it pulls it up huge and I cannot see all the icons so in order to get the picture to fit the screen I'm gonna take my iPad here and just pinch the screen so I can make it smaller until it fits into the space that I want it to fit once you have the picture where you want it I'm going to select this icon here in the bottom right that has the square circle and triangle and you'll want to lock your image so that way when you're messing around here creating the voice output buttons you're not going to accidentally slide the picture out of the way once you have your picture locked you will go here to the bottom left to the green plus sign and when you hit that it's going to give you a little blue box and what you can do is you can physically drag the picture I'm sorry not the picture you can physically drag the box by grabbing one of the corners to fit over one of these boxes and then once you have it placed over the box, you're going to tap the button, then you're going to select set action. And here we're going to type in what we want the box to say. So I want it to say who there's no like save button, but you just hit exit and it will be there. But you're going to repeat this for every button here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and zoom you through this while I do this. And you'll see here that there is a button here that says ABC and phrases. What I like to do on this one is create a little voice output square, but instead of saying anything, I hit a set action and then I have it jump to a new page to open up a page for Gestalt. I will show you how to do that in a different video that I will link below. Anyway, once you're finished here, I like to go down to where it says page two and I like to just rename it and call it something like core. And then I hit done. This reminds me, this did not make my core page the home page. I want the core page to be the home page. So I go here to the layer button and then I select edit. And then I'm just going to drag the core to above the blank button page. And then you hit done. And now when we go home and go to player, the core page is our main page. And you'll see here that we can tap a button. You can't hear it well through the way I'm screen sharing, but as you click through it, it will actually be saying the words that you put in here. And that is how you create a voice output board by using GoTalkNow Lite. I will show you in the other video how I link this button to a page that opens up to video clips of my client's favorite gestalts. If you have any questions, please let me know below in the comments. Thank you.